num 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 or the nom x3 here uh, again on the fantasy server of skyregions.net with another skyblock episode and in this episode i am going to be making an auto smeltery and this should be a pretty quick episode as long as i can place the blocks properly but i don't think that i should have a problem with that anymore and i just need to keep doing this there will be a little bit of redstone in it, but it won't be that complicated, so... And all I'm going to be doing is just making these long rows of furnaces. Since there is a hopper limit, it won't automatically refill if we were making like a real one with no hopper limit on the server. We'd have um, another string of hoppers that would go in to this, the back that would provide the fuel and then on the top to provide the the ore and whatever else that you need to get uh, smelted but since we have a hopper limit all we're going to be doing is collecting but collecting is one of the harder parts so this will make it a lot easier and a lot faster So I'm just going to uh, keep doing this and make it go probably to the end of here, maybe go around to the side, but I'll, I'll, I'll see how, uh, how well just going to the end does for this before I actually expand it anymore. So I'm going to do this and I'll get back to you when it's time for the redstone. And I'm back, I just put in the last uh, furnace, and I'm just putting down powered rails so that this goes nice and fast. Um, I don't have that many powered rails, so I'm just going to put in some non-powered rails every once in a while just to make it, make the rails last a little bit longer. I'll probably have to make some more though. Not too difficult to do this. Make a turn here. And we'll go back to the powered rails. And I'm gonna make some more powered rails and then we'll just work on the actual collection area which will be going right around here. So let me make the powered rails. I'll put them in and then work on the the little area that'll collect it. Okay, I think I have all the supplies that I need, but if not, I'll have to go get more. Just need to build a staircase for the... for the collection system, and we'll put a chest down here the hopper going into the chest and powered rail going there with not a block there but a block right above it like this and we put a comparator facing not that direction a comparator facing that way a block here a redstone torch next that and we'll put a block on top like that a repeater going back in and I believe that is it so this should work 
if I get a hopper mine cart, all I need to do is make one of those, and then this should work. So I'm gonna go make one of those and then give this uh, system a little test. Okay, so I made the hopper mine cart, or I'm making it right now, and we'll just place you up there. And then it should go around collecting items. And then it would come back to empty them. Let me give this a... I don't have any items in the, the furnaces, so... We'll put a stack of stone in there. And then it should come over here, stop, and fully empty out. doesn't fully empty up, but it will empty. Eventually. But I want to be able to turn this off so that the thing's not continuing to go constantly. So we will put a lever here and redstone dust going into this block and this should turn it off. Yep, it turns it off. So when it comes back, it's going to actually come up here and then stop and it can fully empty. And also when I'm not using it, it won't just be going back and forth for no reason, just wasting time. So there's that. I'm going to fill these all up with fuel and items and also um, make some more stone brick because I'm completely out of stone brick and I want to hide some of the, the the inner workings just so that it doesn't look like tracks everywhere. So I'm going to fill these all up and run the system and when I get back I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, I'm back. This is very, very fast. I filled all of them with cobblestone except for one which is filled with gold ore. I think it's around here somewhere. But um, the hopper minecart gets filled going around this one time. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to continue it all the way to the, the other side, but I might. I'm not 100% sure though. So. This is how much I'm going to do for this episode. Uh, I'll take a quick look at the chest. I've got an over a stack of gold ignits from the one stack of gold ore that I put in. Uh, let's see if the, the minecart's empty, so I'm just going to send it back out. And turn it off so that when it gets back, because the, the entire hopper minecart's going to be full by the time it gets back. So. I'm going to have it fully empty before I send it back out again. And that's it for this episode. I'm going to continue to work on this little area and clean it up, but I'm going to just do that off camera. But that's it for this episode of building the auto smeltery. I'm just going to quickly check on the iron golem farm, which is right next to it. I purchased another two IG spawners, which are adding to how much is actually getting generated and it looks like I'm full right now so I'll empty what I can into these chests that I'm keeping track of how many dubs of iron I need to get to pay off the spawners so I've already filled the two so I have 67 left to go for those three spawners to be paid for in full so I'll probably be able to get an another two done today easily with what I have here, but that's it, and I will see you in the next episode.